Okay, a simple introduction into creating a key tag in Fusion 360. That's what the key tag looks like, so I'll move my spin button around and have a look at it. That's what we're going to end up with. So firstly, um, we'll create a new project. So open the folder at the top there, New Design. Select it, and um, we're now going to create a sketch. So find that menu, Create Sketch at the top, and now select a plane to sketch on. I'm going to select that bottom plane. We're in 2D view now. So now we're going to create our shape and we're going to use a rectangle and we'll use a, um, a center rectangle. So drag it out from the center and you can see you've got your dimensions but if you click or save and you lose them, not a panic, we'll be able to select some lines by using the dimension uh, tool at the top once I move this little control box out of the way. And I'll show you at the top here where you select the dimension button, select the two edges or vertices that you want to measure from by left mouse clicking, drag up and then type in the dimension that you want. That's 60. And I think I'll make the other one, the shorter side, I'll make that 40. Alright, so there's your 40. Okay, enter, and the dimension set in position. So one of the things you'd like to do now is create a rounded edge around this. So I'm going to select the filleting tool, and then select the edges that you want. The radius is formed at the vertice. Hold the control key down, and as you cycle through all the different edges, you'll daisy chain all the fillets together. So if you alter one, you alter them all. And that's pretty handy. And you can choose the radius of the fillet there. I think I'll drop it down to about 8 millimeters. Hit OK or Enter. And we're good. So this is a 3D view on the spin button. So you can see that it's actually a 3D shape. And um, now we're going to select solid and extrude and the extrude panel pops up and just some various controls but the one that's important is the thickness for you so select I'm going to use six millimeters you can type in more if you like or less click OK and remember that you're extruding a new body so there's are other options for extrude look down the bottom there where it says fit and you click on that little button and it will fit the object to your screen which is pretty handy little thing to know now going to create another sketch so select sketch again create a new sketch and select the top plane of the object so we're going to draw a, um, a little inward shape uh, inside there and we're going to extrude that to make it a recessed shape so to do that um, I'm going to first go to project down here because I want the edges that our original sketch were on the bottom plane I want to highlight them and make them pop up into the top plane so I can use them to, as a reference line. And so I'm highlighting those now and clicking after I've clicked the project button. It projects the sketches to the top plane. So I'm selecting all those sketch, all those edges and lines that I want to be projected and I'm highlighting them and eventually you'll see they'll all turn blue. Well, they should do anyway. Sometimes you've got to press a couple of times and just make sure you hover on the right line. Once you've done that, you can press OK, and you can see the shape is basically sitting there for me and can be outlined, and I can work from it. Okay. Now, as I drag in, you'll notice I've dragged in here um, uh, from that tool that's highlighted at the top there. You can see I've missed out two of the vertices. Just highlight those two. You can click the fillet tool again, highlight the two edges, and the radius will join in there for you. Okay. So we've kind of, kind of created an inset shape. Now that inset shape is going to be used to, I'm going to cut away some sections inside there. So to make it look like a 3D for you, we'll bring it around with a spin button. We're now going to select the extrude key from the solid function and hover over the center panel that we want to extrude downwards and drag it down. Now notice that across the panel that I've, the operation is set to cut. There's different things you can do with extruding, but I've set it to remove to cut material away. How much? Well, I'm going to go halfway, which is minus three millimeters. Hit enter, and I've now got a recess at minus three millimeters. It's all looking good. So I think probably the next thing that I want to do now is to create some um, some text. Mm -hmm. Now I just showed you how to change the view a little bit there. Um, Sometimes you want to see hidden edges or hidden detail, so I just change the view to include hidden detail, hidden edges from that bottom navigation panel down the bottom there. Okay, so let's now go 
to create ourselves some text so create and then work yourself down and select the text button we'll do that once more I think once I've changed the view a couple of times and shown you it in 3D so we'll go to create and then select text select where you want to start your text and a little button appears and write in the characters that you want so that's my name you can use a, a rotation button there grab it and then rotate it around using the left mouse button and you can grab the the anchor point and drag that to where you'd like it now in this case I made a bold and I think I might want to make it a little bit larger so I'm gonna select the text height to be 15 instead of 10 and then drag that location button but I'm not quite sure at this angle what I've got in the right spot so it might be better for me to look at it once I've moved this out of the way move this panel dialog panel out of the way it might be better to click the top on the spin box so I can see directly on top of it and that'll help me to bring it in the spot that I want there you go I'm happy with that okay so at this point in time um, we want to extrude this text now it is possible and I'll show you this in a minute now that you can quite easily end up highlighting what you don't want to highlight and extruding what you don't want to extrude so as I drag up here now you can see I've actually extruded that whole recessed surface I only want to extrude the text so to get out of that you're going to have to realize well I'm going to have to do this again and um, hit the escape key which is one way of doing it and then seek to highlight the text make sure you've got that text highlighted that you want not the overall plane sometimes it can be a little tricky and check to make sure that you're actually writing on the plane that you're working on and uh, down the bottom here by the way is a timeline and it tells you all the different things you've done you can use that to edit your sketch check it make sure sometimes selecting text where there's a font that may not be recognized by fusion and it may not see it as a font it might just see it as a as an image you might have some more trouble but if you find one of the common fonts like Times New Roman or Calibri it should work fine um, if some of the more exotic fonts don't necessarily extrude or recognize for extrusion okay so I've set it where I want to set it now the text and um, we're going to now see if we can finish the sketch off and then select that text it's looking better now it's highlighting for me in that dark blue shade I'm going to extrude it now drag it up that worked and we'll make it go up say three millimeters so a level with the top edge of the key tag so it doesn't get knocked off or rubbed off yep okay once we're happy with that we can hit enter and there's our text in position ready for either 3d printing or for um, laser cutting or for all sorts of things right next thing now is um, we would like to create a hole so I've selected make a sketch I'm selecting the plane that I want to make the hole for my keyring select the circle center radius circle find the radius that I want drag it out here we go and I think I might make it um, six millimeters good now I've got circle We'll highlight that circle and I'm going to extrude that circle and cut away the hole so I go solid hit extrude and drag the drag handle I could also type in a dimension if I wanted to and I'll just drag it make sure it's in cut mode so we're removing material drag down and we've cut through that round hole that we want there and that's good hit enter and we've got ourselves a nice complete key tag personalized key tag so I hope you enjoyed that and that's something that you find useful and that you make one for yourself now you save it top bottom uh, top saving button at the top there type in the name that you want to call it and Autodesk will save it on their servers and you have uh, access to a storage system you can set up folders and subfolders so you know where things are okay well I hope that works well for you and you successfully make one thank you